going to start by just quickly mentioning something that has absolutely nothing to do with you, and that was the, uh, and that was the player making his own little save on the line. Yeah. Um, what if you if you if that had been you, for example, going towards that? What would you what would you have done if that was the only way to stop the ball from going in the net? Um, it's difficult for him to be fair because it's it's our instinct. It's an instinct situation, so. I think he obviously he, he could have done it without even realising what he was doing. Just our mag reactions to stop the ball from going in the net. So I I'm not really sure what I'd do, but he he'd probably I'd probably do similar. But he's yeah. just desperate not to let the ball go in, I suppose, isn't it? So until you're in that situation, you don't really know, do you? I guess so. Is that something you've ever seen anyone do before? I've seen, you've obviously seen it over the years, haven't you? Yeah. Like players doing different different things, but. Yeah, so when it's as plain as that, you wonder why he's sort of done it, but it's one of those situations, isn't it? Yeah, I'd like to, um, from, a, from a game on uh, on Tuesday, I'd quite like to see your um, your your distance figures, because you, yeah. you, were, you were really up and down, weren't you, all over the pitch? Yeah, yeah, it was a um, good game, obviously. Um, just delighted to get the three points, that's an important thing. Um, a nice little cushion now for us, uh, above the bottom two. And we've got another... Uh, Tough game Saturday, but if we can get results out of that, um, we can start looking forward. Then absolutely, we'll come to that in a minute as well. But your your playing style, anyway. You, I know you like to move about a bit, but particularly in the last few games, you've really kind of got everywhere. Is the as a manager, is that something he's been telling you to do, or is that just are you just playing off? Is it just your instinctive way of doing it? Yeah, obviously, I've been playing in the midfield three, so I was a bit more licensed to get about mm -hmm. and stuff, um, rather than being restrict, restricted out wide. So yeah, I've been enjoying my football, and I, uh, hopefully, it can continue. Yeah. This uh, this midfield seems quite capable, doesn't it, of supporting the strikers? Even if you know, because you've got a couple of guys who freshly come into the team, they don't necessarily they're not necessarily quite as up to speed as your as your as Varney or um, or, or Tyrone might be. Yeah. But you guys are able to support them, and they're able to support you to be able to score. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, with the extra man in midfield, you need to be supporting the front two or front one, whatever it may be. But. Um, yeah, we've got, as you said, um, a, a complete mixture in midfield. We've got um, a lot of different styles, so I think it's beneficial to the team, definitely. Is the conversation among the players still about avoiding the drop, or is it looking forward to how, how far you can get in the table? Because obviously, a nine point gap and 13 games to go. Yeah, no, to be honest, it's just about the next game. I know it's cliche as it sounds, but. Um, it is what it is. Like we've got another uh, home game to look forward to, so there's no point looking beyond that because, as the gaffer said, we've been saying a couple of weeks ago we were eight points clear, and I think it was literally within a week we were within two points of it again. So we know how quick it can change in football, but you can't focus on it or wait for it to happen. You've just got to look forward, really, and that's literally, as I said, a cliche. But you've you've got to just look to the next game, really, in this situation. Well, looking at Chelsea's position, um, I guess after the first five or six games. If you were able to see into the future and see that in February you'd be nine points clear, would you have taken that, or would you think, oh, we, you know, we want to go higher? Yeah, realistically, definitely. Um, um, we were in, we were in a bit of a rut, weren't we? Um, things weren't going great, but um, I said the gaffers come in, we've we've turned it right round. We've we've been hovering and yeah, we are on up and down, but hopefully now this time we can sort of build and, and kick on. That's that's the hope, you know. Yeah, and and Port Vale this weekend, obviously th their results sort of went your way in a funny kind of way because on, on Tuesday they lost. It means in this game that they can't get above you in the table. Does that remove any pressure at all? Um, not not really. You know, um, we're just um, as I said, we'll just focus on the game. So you're not you're not going to be thinking about that sort of stuff when you're in the game or playing eleven v eleven. You know, you just focus on the game. But um, no, it won't come into it really. We'll just focus on ourselves. And as I said, if you can get a win, it'll be it'll be another massive three points. Now, home form obviously when when Michael took over was really quite poor. Cheltenham were generally getting most of their points uh, on the road and then won in, in absolutely months. Seems to have turned round a bit. Do those home games now feel a bit more like the home games that you know? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the lads do we like, obviously after the last couple of away games, you, you look ahead and you see, you see the two home games and you're sort of like licking your lips, you know, because the form's been good at home. So um, I think it's only one defeat in like uh, 13 or 14 games at home with, with quite a large number of wins as well. So it's definitely something we know about and we're aware about, but it's something we need to implement again and hopefully get another, get another win Saturday, please God. Uh, the manager said he, he, you know, he's not really bothered by the idea that, um, that you know that you can have good home form because he said when you know he said our away form is rubbish now and he said when I took over the away form was all right. Yeah. But as a player, do you do you find that you do get that you are getting that lift from Modern Road? Yeah, it's always nice to be winning games at home. You know, if you are to win, obviously you want to win away games as well. But if you are winning games at home, generally you, you'll do okay. You know, so um, if we can keep our home form up and add in some wins away from home, I, I think we'll be fine. Yeah. And I, I guess, I guess, with all the with all the miles you're you're running up and down, I guess you must be quite aware that you're becoming quite an important player in, in that in that midfield. 
Um, yeah, but you're only as good as your last game. You know, you've got to just take each game as it comes. Football's a funny game, um, really funny game. I'm, I'm old enough to understand that now, so um, we just take each game as it comes. As I said, it's another cliche, but it is what it is at this stage of the season. And just keep kicking on. Hopefully, get get some more results. Last one for me. How about um, how about young Jacob alongside you as well? How's he getting on? Yeah, he's a good lad. Um, he's, he's he's willing to learn. He's, he's going to have a bright future in the game and. Um, uh, someone I enjoy playing with, you know, I really enjoyed the other night, but I'm in there and, and Connor Thomas as well, I thought Connor was brilliant as well, so yeah, really enjoyed it.